The scientific name for NTM is non-tuberculose mycobacteria. It is closely related to tuberculosis, or TB, but how you get NTM and how you treat it are very different. These organisms, unlike TB, which is spread person to person, these organisms are acquired from the environment. We think that it is acquired from most likely water, one model might be that it's in the water of showers. The aerosols generated in showers, for instance, have large numbers of these bacteria in them. So as you shower, you're bringing these organisms into your airways. There are more women with this infection than men. Strikingly, uh, there are more, there's more disease among white women. Especially those who are tall and thin. But those most at risk are patients with weakened immune systems who may want to take extra precautions against NTM, especially around soil and water where the bacteria are abundant. Wear a mask and gloves while gardening, take baths instead of showers, and for good measure, clean your shower head periodically by soaking it in bleach or vinegar. Experts say we all breathe the bacteria every day and most of us are perfectly safe. But if you think you might be at risk or develop an unexplained cough, talk to your doctor because delays can make treatment long and difficult. The typical regimen for NTM disease is 18 months and our cure rates are frustratingly near 50%. If it comes from the water or the soil and it's rising in numbers, I think that's even a more formidable challenge.